Let's see the extraction. The extraction of gold from the sulphide or telluride O involves crushing and grinding and concentration, followed by roasting, treatment with the potassium cyanide and precipitation of gold and finally electrolytic refining process. Crushing, grinding and concentration. The gold ore is crushed and powdered and then concentrated by froth flotation process. The second is roasting. The concentrated ore is roasted in excess of air and oxygen. Where impurities like sulfur, arsenic, tellurium are oxidized and escape as their volatile oxides. Treatment with the potassium cyanide. The finely powdered roasted ore is taken in large vats made up of cement or iron and having false wooden bottoms with holes. So gold with the potassium cyanide with water and oxygen gives oxygen, potassium RO cyanide and potassium hydroxide. So the gold is then treated with a dilute 0.5% of potassium cyanide. In the presence of excess of air, for 24 hours, the so gold dissolved in potassium cyanide to form a soluble complex called potassium RO cyanide. Precipitation of gold. The solution containing potassium RO cyanide is filtered to remove insoluble impurities and then treated with the zinc to form potassium zinc cyanide. You are able to see my gold is here. We got the gold. So gold being less electropositive than zinc, it gets precipitated. So this is the final step. The electrolytic method is used when very pure gold is required. The impure gold is made as anode, but a thin sheet of pure gold acts as the cathode. The electrolyte consists of a solution of auric chloride acidified with HCl, hydrochloric acid. On passing current, a pure gold gets deposited on the cathode. So here is the typical example of real time of electrolytic refining of gold.